Hey guys, David. This is Express Auto Transmission. We like to play with transmissions here and we like having you guys here watching our videos. So thank you guys for watching. Welcome back. We're gonna go see what's on the bench today. The idea behind that is to get as much oil to the fourth clutch as quick as you possibly can. And we've got a beautiful vacuum. Oh man, another 6L80 on the bench. It's got me thinking. We haven't done a 6L80 build video yet. I think we're gonna do a 6L80 build video with this one. Guys, this one is out of a 2009 Chevrolet Silverado. The owner is putting a BTR stage two or stage three camshaft in. It's got like 180,000 miles on it. After his cam install, it made it a little while before it stopped moving is the complaint I got. He said it just stopped. It's like, all right, well, it's probably broke. So we're gonna take it apart. We're gonna go over our parts. We're gonna see what we got inside of this thing. So let's do it. It's not looking pretty. Somebody did not drain their transmission before they brought it over here. Because that is a lot of fluid. I ain't chasing that one today. Well, it's not as full of metal as I thought it was gonna be, but it is definitely deep. That's not good. There's all these shiny things up here too. I don't know what those are, but that can't be good either. It should not look like a sparkle train went off inside of your transmission. No, sir. Yeah, that one's gross. Now let's get that case connector out of the way. Not both of them. All right, let's just go ahead and get that guy out of the way. Let's start taking off the stuff up here. teeth. Only a little bit more fun. Oh man. We're gonna have to machine the pump. Well that's not good guys. Oh that don't look good neither. There's a big old groove in it. Well this guy's putting a little horsepower too. We better put one of those AC Delco bell housings in this one. Good call. Yep. Gonna need an AC Delco one. Oh, let's get the good stuff out. Alright. Let's see what our drum looks like here. Well, the drum's not broke, so that's a good sign. Not terrible. Well, this 
those are surprisingly not in bad shape. Doesn't look like the piston broke, but let's take it out of there and lock that. Typically you get a complaint of uh, no move altogether. This piston right here is a good good cause of that complaint. So I'm gonna get it out of there and see if it's broken anyway. It doesn't, doesn't appear to be broke, but you never know. I don't see any major cracks. Usually we've seen these things, they'll crack right through this lining right right around in here but this one doesn't appear to be cracked so yeah we'll leave that and we'll the rest of that drum part here in a little bit let's see what we got in here Surprising. Not as, not as bad off as we thought this dude was. Didn't break the shaft like the last one that we played with. <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! Definitely gonna need bushings. Didn't didn't chew the surface up too bad, but it has definitely had metal running through it, so it's time for some bushings. Well, now for, for for everybody's favorite part. Give me the big yellow thingies. How about that? I just want to go pinch somebody with it. Like, <laughs> like run up behind somebody and just grab them real quick, you know, one time. Man, that would hurt. Dude, talk about a bad Tuesday. What day is it? It ain't Tuesday. It's Thursday. It'd be a bad Thursday for somebody. Too bad of shape. See right there, see the, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is all metal right through there, those flakes. That's all metal. See it running right down through here? All that metal. That right there is your worst nightmare. The reason I say that, when that gets in between the piston and the surface that the piston needs to seal on, it creates a giant leak. If you have enough metal going around in enough surface area of the piston, the piston can't apply because all the fluid's just passing through the dirt and debris and metal that's inside of it. So I'm going to bet if I was a bad man, we could take that filter apart and it would be plugged solid with converter material. He said he serviced this thing, but judging by the fluid here, it has not been serviced. And if it has been serviced, it's getting nasty fast. So I don't see any, any real major failure outside of just converter dump. I just sent metal through everything again. As always, so we'll have to take everything apart, put all new bushings in, have to get a Durban bushing kit, because you just can't go wrong with one of those. So, well, guys, now that we've got it apart, we've shown you what was going on, shown you the metal inside of the pistons and stuff. We're gonna get this bench cleaned up, get us some parts out here, and talk about what we're gonna do to make it better. So, we'll be back. <laughs> 